guys, Gaming at Old School here bringing you a pickups video. This is everything that I've amassed over the, just the last week. Um, I thought it was enough to warrant a pickup video. Um, but I did leave some stuff in Utah from my last pickup video that I couldn't show. So I had my sister bring it down when she came down, and I'll go ahead and start with that. Um, to start, it, it's really just accessories um, as far as that, but uh, a store did have a Super Nintendo controller for $2. Uh, perfect condition. They had a Genesis controller for $3. And then they had a third-party Sega Saturn controller for $3. A Sega Saturn controller for $3. Which, I've been trying to pick up as many of these as I can. Um, I'm trying to get 10 so that I can do 10-player uh, Saturn Bomberman. Just sounds phenomenal. And uh, so, I, this puts me at 7 uh, controllers. So, getting close. I, I need the multi-taps though, so I'm still a ways away. Um, and then, probably, you know, my favorite thing from the uh, the controllers, at least, uh, from Utah, was another Sega Dreamcast controller. Um, I have, this makes four uh, that I have, and then it also included, uh, for three dollars uh, total, it had a black VMU. So, very cool to get that. So, I didn't have one. <laughs> I didn't want to... Uh, you know, pay an extra four or five dollars just for one. Figured I'd come across one eventually, and I did, and it worked. So, um, in the last pickup video, I showed some stuff that I got: that calculator, um, a PlayStation. I'm trying to think what else, but I took that stuff to Bookman's, and I gave them a GameCube with a third-party controller, a PS2, uh, I think three PS2 controllers in total three Xbox, original Xbox controllers. One was the Duke, and then uh, they took that controller and a 360 AV cord. I think that's it. Um, there was Dual Masters for the Game Boy Advance, and there was one more game. Just garbage. Just that, that stuff. Okay, this is why I pick it up, though. Okay, I purposely seek out that stuff because this place, Bookman's, is awesome, and you know they give me a pretty good price for it. So um, I did take a Guitar Hero guitar also, um, and I'll show you what I got from them. So to start off, I got another Sega Saturn controller. Um, this one's six bucks credit, but I got that, and then some Dreamcast games. Uh, I'll just go through real quick. That's Armada, Arrow Wings, Carrier, Soul Calibur, Cubert, Unreal Tournament, Air Force Delta. Sega GT, and the winner is Marvel vs. Capcom 2. So, very awesome, especially with what I told you I just traded in for them. And the thing is, I got all these games, the Sega Saturn controller, and I still have like $27 store credit. So, I ended up getting $115 store credit for that garbage. So, definitely awesome. I love how that's working out for me, and I'm going to keep doing it as long as I can. So, uh, too bad I didn't have these when I just uploaded my Dreamcast collection video, but that's alright. So, um, I did want to pick up about 50 more before the end of the year, so here's 9 of them. So, that's a pretty good progress. Um, I went into GameStop just dinking around, uh, just a few minutes, looking to buy something extremely inexpensive. And uh, something I wanted though, I just didn't want to buy like Monkey King or whatever that trash game for the Wii is. Uh, so I did get um, uh, Excitebots Trick Racing. Um, I don't know if you've played this or not. It was a uh, dollar ninety nine, and it actually is a pretty sweet game. Um, I played the online mode and it's really fun, which obviously they don't have that anymore, so you would just be, be getting it for, you know, the multiplayer or, you know, solo player mode, but 
It is a really cool game. Two dollars, just go pick it up. Listen to me. Listen to my voice as it reaches your ears. Go pick it up. It's a fun game. Um, there is another installment in the series called Excite Truck. I have not tried that yet. Um, it's still five dollars, and that's too much for me. So, yeah, I'll wait a little bit, but I think I might swing in and pick up quite a few Wii games. Uh, there's some good ones that are getting fairly inexpensive. Um, Boom Blocks, fun game, real fun game. It's a dollar ninety nine also, so probably uh, go take advantage of that. I, I want to try and get it when it's buy one get one free. Um, I'm sure they're gonna do it sometime in the next few months, but then you risk some of those not being there. So we'll see. We'll see what I do. Um, coming home from Utah, we ate at McDonald's and got my son a Happy Meal. I didn't even notice. I didn't even know that they were doing these. But it's a little Mario Kart 8 action figures. So I opened it up and gave it to him. But then I went back and bought all the different ones that they had. Um, unfortunately, they only had these two. Um, I'll probably uh, open it up and you know display them or something. But I'm gonna try and go and get get the other ones relatively soon. Um, just a few more things. It was half off day at Goodwill uh, this last Saturday, and I did get a GameCube power supply for a dollar. And then also two two more Guitar Hero guitars. Yeah. Uh, I paid three dollars for one and two fifty for the other. I should be able to get six dollars a piece at Bookman's, so twelve bucks right there, double my investment. And then this one, I'm very excited about. Um, I unfortunately need one more for it to be functional or anything, but it is a GameCube broadband adapter. So it is great shape. I mean, the tabs aren't busted off or anything. Uh, basically, if you guys don't know about this, um, you could play certain games online, like uh, the Fantasy Stars, and there are a few other ones. Uh, Mario Kart uh, Double Dash, you could do also. Um, let's see. Okay, sorry guys. So, um, you have your Wii, and basically this thing would go in the bottom here. Okay, and you'd plug it in like that, and then um, uh, Mario Kart did not go online, I don't think. Um, I may be wrong, but you can hook it up. It's got an Ethernet port right here. So if I had two Game Cubes with two of these, and two copies of Mario Kart Double Dash, even right now without internet, I could link them up and play eight player Double Dash. Awesome, right? Sounds so cool. Um, you can also do, you can go yeah, way higher than that too. I think you do 12 and 16, uh, if I'm not mistaken, for, for battle, which I can't imagine, but it, it sounds like that would be so much fun. Uh, the only problem is these things are pretty expensive now. Um, they're about uh, four, forty-five to to sixty-five dollars and up. Um, this one was priced twenty-nine, and I actually uh, had a discount and was able to get it for twenty-two. So I'm glad to get it. Um, I do need one more before I'm able to play Double Dash. That's the main reason I bought it. Otherwise, it's really useless. But yeah, so. Alright guys, that is my pickup video for today. Let me know what you thought was the uh, coolest thing that I got. And uh, also, you know, if you have any questions for me, go ahead and let me know. Um, you can either comment in the comments below or go to my Facebook page. There's a link in the description. A lot of people ask me, you know, questions there and I'll go ahead and answer them and stuff. So, uh, alright guys, I hope everything's uh, going well. Take care.